Donald, am I talking to myself? I gotta get the stuff off the bigger truck to put it on the smaller truck to give to you. Yeah, but I don't see why I'm the one that Donald, has to- Donald, 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 Donald. I'm just a truck driver. So I just made the move from Austin, Texas to Los Angeles, California. And I've moved around a lot in my life, I think I can say, but this time was different. Because for the first time in my life, I have things, you know, like all the other times before I was I was broke, nigga, I was broke. I didn't have I didn't have shit. But now I have a career which has afforded me things like chairs and plates. I got furniture now, nigga. I, I'm an adult. I have adult things. So I had two options. I could do it myself, or I could pay a moving company to move my shit for me. And the fact that I'm a YouTuber should tell you that I don't like work. So I went with option B, all right? So I went online, put my information into a bunch of moving company websites, and just waited for them to get back to me with their different quotes. So next day I'm walking around, phone rings. Bring, bring. I pick it up. Hello. Hi, I was wondering if Donald was available. Yeah, this is uh, this is Don. Who, who's this? Hi, this is Jane. I work with Condor Moving Services, a full-service moving company for all your moving needs. Right away, I knew I was going with this company. How? Because Jane sounded like a MILF. I don't know how else to put it. She sounds like a hot mom, bro. That's what the first thing I thought when I heard her talk. So I was like, mm, I'm going with your moving services. So I told her what I had. She gave me some prices, you know, and I told her, okay, okay, Jane, I'm going to get back to you. Because one, you got to let him chase a little bit, man. You, you don't marry the first moving company fine just because she's hot. And two, I didn't have a concrete moving date. I was still in the process of trying to find a place in L.A. So the days are going by, and every day that passes, Jane gave me a call. Bring, bring. Hey, Don. How's it going? Hey, Jane. How's it going, girl? It's good. Thanks for asking. You know, I got into the office today, and you were the first person on my mind. I was like, I need to follow up with Don and see if he's any closer to a move-in date. How's that looking, by the way? <laughs> Girl, you play too much, you know? Yeah, you know, I'm getting closer to locking one down. You know, I'm looking at a couple places downtown. I'll let you know, though. I'll give you a call. Okay, great. Sounds good. I love you. I'm sorry I didn't catch that. I'm, I, I said I'll call you. I'll call you. I'll call you when I get my place, yeah? So a few days pass, and I finally get my place, all right? So of course... Gotta call my girl Jane to let her know the good news. Hi, this is Condor Moving Systems. This is Jane speaking. Uh, hey, what's up, girl? Yeah, so uh, looks like I'm moving in next week, Thursday. Do you think we can make that work? Of course. I can get a truck out to you and we can get you your stuff by mm, next week, Friday. How does that sound? That sounds perfect. Yeah, that way I'll, <laughs> I won't be sleeping on the floor for like a week. You feel me? Yeah. All right, cool. Hey. You got like a you got like a Facebook or something? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that last part. I said I said let's book it. I said let's book it. Let's go. Sounds good to me. I'll, I'll give you a call if I run into any. Hello, hello, Jane. Hmm. All right, must got disconnected. So the movers come, they take all my stuff, put it in the truck, and then at the end he gives me a bill for three hundred dollars more than I thought I would be paying. Now, I did put some extra stuff in the truck, so I was like, okay, $300, I can live with that. Fast forward to next week, Thursday, and I get to LA. I am starting my new life, a new chapter in a new place, and I was very excited. All that I was missing was my shit, right? So it's the day before the moving truck's supposed to get here, but I hadn't gotten a call, and I was expecting one the day before. So I give the company a call, and uh, this happens. Hi, thank you for calling Condor Moving Systems. This is Nicole. How can I help you? N Nicole. Oh, I, I was ex I was expecting some. Hey, what's up, Nicole? Uh, my name's Don. Uh, I, I got some stuff. You guys are, are moving from Texas to LA for me. I was just checking on the status of that. I'm supposed to get here tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Let me check on that. Hmm. Oh, okay, it actually looks like your driver is still in Arizona, so I'm not sure when your stuff's gonna get to you. I can give you his number and you can call him. Um, you you want me to call him? I mean, I can call him if you want. Uh, I guess I could call, I just, I feel like this is something you're supposed to be doing, but all right, yeah, just give me his number, I got it. So I get his number and I give him a call. Does it pick up? Shoot him a text, doesn't reply. I call back the company, let them know they tried calling him, no answer and they just kind of was like i mean he'll get to you eventually next day rolls around i finally get a call from the truck driver answer the phone hello um 
Is this Donald? Yeah, this is Don. How, how can I help you? Yeah, um, this is James, your truck driver. Yeah, uh, we in Arizona. Got a little bit more drop-offs to do. But we'll be there about, uh, Tuesday. I don't know. Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, all right. Um, guess I'll see you Tuesday. Yep. Tuesday. Oh, Donald, uh, it says that you're living in the downtown LA area. Is that correct? Yep, that's uh, that's the address I put down. Well, Donald, uh, here's the dilemma. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my 18 wheel uh, on them streets. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, them downtown LA streets is the the, the too narrow. I, I can't get my 18 wheeler. The one way, the two way, no way. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get me a smaller truck to take the stuff off the bigger truck to put on a smaller truck to bring to you. Okay. Is uh is that gonna be a problem or something? Oh no 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 problem. As long as you got four hundred dollars. Four hundred. Hold hold on hold on. Four hundred dollars. Why? Why, why do I have to pay $400? Uh, Donald, am I talking to myself? I gotta get the stuff off the bigger truck to put it on the smaller truck to give to you. Yeah, but I don't see why I'm the one that Donald, has to- Donald, 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 Donald. I'm just a truck driver. If you got a problem, you can uh, uh call the company. Uh, uh, my order ready? So, call the company. Hi, thank you for calling Condor Moving Systems, a full service moving company. This is Nicole speaking. How can I help you? Uh, hey, Nicole. Um, You know what? Actually, Nicole is- is Jane available by any chance? Yeah, let me check. Oh, actually, she's on the phone with another client right now. Is there anything I can help you with? Another client? <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, um, yeah, here's the thing, Nicole. So, I just got off the phone with James, and he told me that's going to be an additional $400 to get my stuff delivered. Oh, wow. Really? Okay, well, let me look at your notes. Mm, okay, it says right here you live in the downtown LA area, and it's hard to get the 18-wheel. The 18-wheel, wheel, yes, yes, I know, I, I, that's what James told me. It just feels like this is more of a logistics problem. I don't see why I should be responsible for well, that. Well, Mr. Hines, it was stated in your contract that you would be responsible if this were to occur. You did read the contract, right? Of course, I did not read the contract. I mean, well, I unfortunately, Donald, there's nothing we can really do about it at this point. And when she hit me with that, I just, I was just done, bro. I was, I was broken. You know what I mean? I was upset that I felt like I was getting jerked around. I, I was confused as to why my beloved Jane won't get on the phone with me. And I felt dumb because I didn't read the fucking contract. So the fact that they're finessing me out of all this bread, it's like, it's, it's, it's my fault. You know what I mean? So Tuesday rolls around. Get a call from James. Hello, this is Don. Donald. Yeah. Uh, look like, uh, I'm a, I'm gonna be there a day late. A day late. Okay. All right, yup, sure. Sleep on the ground one more night. It's not gonna kill me. Cool, see you tomorrow. Fast forward to the next day. Guess who calls me? Donald, how you doing, man? Yeah, uh, got some bad news. Uh, I can't find a smaller truck to take everything off the bigger truck, so I gotta push it back another day. And by this point, I'd, I'd given up. I mean, the floor was starting to get comfortable. You know what I mean? What, what's one more day? Thursday rolls around and finally James gets here with my stuff. I give him the money and then we start unloading the truck, right? And as it's starting to get empty, I realize that there's no bed on the truck. So I'm like, yo, James, I'm missing a bed, bro. What's up with that? He takes a look at the inventory sheet and he looks into the truck. He turns to me and he's like, hmm. you're right. Ain't no bed in here. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what now? Well, I don't know. You tell me. I took everything off the big truck and put it on the small truck and I... I so what you're trying to tell me is that y'all hit me with all these charges and made me wait all this fucking time for you to tell me that y'all left my bed whoa, in whoa, whoa. Texas. Ain't no y'all. I just drive the truck. So is, is this just goodbye now? I mean, you, you, you got, you got the money. I got the rest of my stuff. How, how do I get my bed? Uh, hey, now, you're going to have to call them, all right? I, I drive the trucks. I, I load the trucks. I bring the truck, the stuff to the place. I put the stuff there, and I, I go. I, 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 Fuck! OK, all right. Thanks, James. Have a great day. Go upstairs. Call the moving company. Hi, this is Condor Moving Systems. This is Nicole speaking. How can I help I you? I want to talk to Jane. I'm sorry. Who may I say is calling? I said. I want to talk to Jane. One moment, Mr. Hines.
Hi, thank you for calling Condor Moving Systems. This is Jane. Jane, what's going on? Don, is there an issue? Is there an issue? Jane, there have been issues since day one. But I'm not here to talk about that. Where's my bed, Jane? Your bed? I'm sorry, I'm not following. My bed that I put on the moving truck did not show up here in LA. I'm being told that it's in Texas. Oh my god, Don, I am so sorry. That never should have happened. I'm gonna get on this right away. Jane, I'm, I'm not mad at you. You get that, right? It's just, I just, I just want my bed, you know? This is what my bed. I complete I completely understand. Did, did you just laugh? I'm sorry. It's it's just funny. What do you mean it's fu what's funny about what's this? What's funny is you really think you're getting your bed back. Um what? Don, think about it. We already have your money, and even if we find your mattress, which we won't. Do you really think we're going to spend the extra money to ship one mattress from Texas to California? And sure, you could file a claim, but that will take 60 days to process, so you have two options. A. Buy a new mattress. Or B. You keep sleeping on the floor. Listen, Don. I know what you thought we had was real, but you're just, just a boy. And if I find your mattress, I'm gonna put it in a dumpster and light it on fire. You can file a claim on our website. And of course, I'm paraphrasing, but the conversation might as well have gone down just like that. I had been finessed to the highest degree. And at first I was upset because nothing upsets you more than feeling like you don't have power. I felt powerless in the situation. But here's the thing about power. It's all about perspective. At the end of the day, I was gonna have to buy a new mattress, but I still had the ability to choose how I was gonna buy it. Was I gonna buy it reluctantly, you know, kicking stones down the street, saying to myself, I got played? Or was I gonna take it and say, you know what? I could use a new mattress. Sure, I wasn't planning on spending that money, but you know what, that's life. And if this video does well, well, me and Condor Moving Systems can call it even. Thanks for the content. Hey guys, go follow my boy Griffy, man. If y'all want to. Go subscribe to his channel, Don't Long Beach boy. Griffy, the Long funniest Beach. nigga on the internet. Hey, I said that. it. Ah, you said, I said it. it. Ah, I said it. Nah, nah. Know they could've stopped me. Big bags, I got racks up in my pocket. No care, I heard that they trying to stop it. Where they at? I just took out like a rocket. Diamond time, jeans. Where the dime, jeans? Got no time to wait. I'm still dreaming. I need my diamonds gleaming. Now they wanna roll with me.